All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, okay, this is an interesting one. What is this, a Gerber, a CRKT? It's a Gerber, okay. It's a rusty old Gerber that uh, aluminum handle looks like, liner lock. Maybe this will clean up. Definitely sell pile, resell pile. Look at this thing, this is an advertising. This says Avani Environmental. Oh, can't open that. Made in China, just a cheap gift knife. Oh, it's one of these with the friggin' Eagle stainless. This thing is dull as hell, pretending to be a uh, damn uh, spider co. So now nah, it's gonna go in the trash. Sorry, amigo. But again, back to this thing. I like the blade shape on this thing. I don't know what this is, but I think I'm gonna end up keeping this. It's camo. All right, keeper, I guess. Just because of the blade. Here's another generic small Swiss Army knife advertising North something Minnesota, Metro Minnesota. Nothing spectacular about it. I'll just throw that in there. And the cell power. Here's a cheap one that fell apart. This is probably going to end up being trash. Yeah. Only thing that's good for is like a lead weight when you go fishing or something. Look at this little guy. This is a Leatherman, guys. This is a Leatherman Micra. Definitely in the keep pile. Let's check the scissors on this thing. A lot of times the scissors don't work too well. Huh? I think that with a little bit of oil, these scissors would work well. Yeah, look at that. Leatherman Micra. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Little blade, never been used. It's on this side. Little tool right there. The other side, what's this thing? I guess this will be the tweezers. Wow. All right, guys. I'm happy with this little Leatherman Micra. Definitely going in the keep pile. Um, I don't see a key ring anywhere on this thing. Just a little troublesome, but definitely worth keeping. Leatherman Micro. All right. That by itself is probably worth like 15 bucks. Here's another one. It's not a Leatherman. It's a generic multi-tool, but this is interesting. Look at that. Spring-loaded. Look at those little jaws. Definitely interesting. It's got a real nice file, too. I don't see any brand on this thing. All it says is China. Well, you know what? This is gonna go in the cell pile. Well, oh, nice snap on that too. Okay, look at this. It's one of those vacation ones. Navajo Nation, Arizona. You know what? I think this is gonna be a keeper for me even though my initial does not start with the letter L because whenever I go to those gift shops in the Grand Canyon, I never buy myself any of these knives. So maybe I'll just keep it for that reason. Keeper. Oh. It's a rusty piece of turd. Uh, I don't know what this is, but guys, I don't want to keep this thing. This thing is just, it's too rusty, guys. This is going to give me tetanus. So, ugh. I mean, it, it, it's keepable. It works. All you need to do is replace the blade and clean the rust. Do I want to invest the time to do that? I don't know. I might. What if I do that, put a new blade in it, and sell it in the garage sale? So. I guess. Jeez. Okay, here's a green one. Ugh, a green Victorinox with a broken handle, guys. Come on. I do like the greenies. Maybe I can replace a handle at some point. Man. Yeah, keeper. All right. Another one of these generic pieces of garbage. Out you go. This is an oldie from the 90s. Smith & Wesson SWAT. But I tell you what. This aluminum handle still kicking butt. Uh, garage sale. <sighs> Broken, missing the wooden insert. Oh, guys, look, this was a razor. What was this, a flying falcon? I don't know, but this is a garage sale knife. Garage sale knife. Knife lot, garage sale knife, something like that. Another little flying falcon, but... Oh, this is just terrible. Trash. This is a Gare Bear, uh, but it is also a box cutter, so garage sale knife. Oh, jeez. Who never knew going through this would be work. What is that? 
What is that? Look at this bigger Wenger knife with the keychain. Oh my gosh, it says Bever. Could this be Justin Bever's knife? No, I don't think so. Look at this beautiful blade. It's a Wenger. Oh man, that blade looks untouched. This thing has just been, this by itself right here would be like 25 bucks. Still got some oil in there. This thing has just been carried, hasn't really been used. Look at that. I don't even know what type of banger this is. All I know is I like it. So I'm totally keeping this. This is an older one too. Very nice amigos. Look, it's still got the, the uh, pick, but not the tweezers. All right, that's no biggie. Nice, nice. I've already made my money back for sure, guys. But look, a pink Victorinox. Look at that. Very nice. Here's another Victorinox. Another little SD. Look at that. Nice. Guys, I'm finding so many Victorini. That's the reason I purchased this out. Oh, look. It's nail clippers. I'm going to keep these. You know why I'm going to keep these, right? That's why I'm going to keep these. It's a keeper. Okay. My keep pile. Oh, look. It is another little Stockman. This looks like a right edge. Oh, this has Hebrews 412. This is another religious life. Interesting. Okay, well, I think it's bad luck to throw that away, so I guess I'm gonna keep that. Hmm. Okay. Oof, there's just so much stuff in here, guys. I don't know, I might have to take a break. This is gonna be a really long video. I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to export this thing. All right, look at this thing. It's got a tiny little clevis. Look at that, this is cute. It's adorable. Oh, what brand is that? It's uh, stainless steel Japan. Uh, that's all it says. Little fake pearl inlaid, two blade, very cute. That's gonna go in the cell pile, okay? Let's see, oh, what else we got? Man, there's some nice things in here, guys. There's some nice things and there's some trash. A Little bit of everything. Here's another cheap generic multi-tool made to look like a Gerber. Like a Gerber suspension, but a smaller one, okay? Put that over there, running out of space here, guys. Okay, here's another really cute little Husky box cutter. Nice, nice. Okay, look, it's another Leatherman Micra, guys. This one does have the lanyard right there, the key ring. Very nice, very nice. Just needs a little bit of oil. These Leatherman Micra guys, very nice. All right, in you go in the keep pile. Guys, I think I'm hitting some treasure down here, guys. What's this thing? Oh, I think I know what this is. No, this is a Sheffield. For a minute there, I thought it was an old Smith & Wesson, but it's a nice Sheffield lockback. Somebody might want to buy that. Yeah. I'm really running out of room over here, guys. I, I There's no, I mean, look at how this, this uh, resale box is that I got that I'm gonna use for knife lots and stuff. It's totally just over friggin' flowing with knives, you know? So I'm gonna have to start just leaving them in here pretty soon. Okay, let's move these out of the way so I can see what's in here. It's another generic type multi-tool. We're just gonna leave that over here on the side. This is uh, another frosty, frost cutlery, really loose, but somebody might want it, might like the style, leave it off to the side. Ugh. Yeah. This is a nice example of garbage, I think. Yeah. Look at this. Another yellow Victorinox missing the key ring. It's got some gum stuck to it. At least I hope it's gum. And then, yeah. Keeper. Gonna clean her. Gonna clean her. Gotta clean all those things. And we got another Victorinox over here. Lots of real nice Victorinox that need cleaning. Look, I found Zachary's knife. This is Zachary's knife. It's a two-layer Victorinox. Look at that. What is this, a Spartan or something? Very nice. Ooh, a keeper, definitely a keeper. I'm telling you, I already made my 100 bucks back just in Victorinox knives. And uh, this is a Remington, cheap looking Remington. Yeah, definitely a reseller. But I'm just going to start leaving them in here. I'm going to just toss the trash and leave the other stuff in here. Guys, there's a lot more treasure in here. Hang with me. Hang with me. Look. 
it's a Gerber pouch missing the strap up here this bad boy was used oh my gosh look at this guys look at this it's a Gerber suspension and this thing is in great shape all this needs is some WD-40 this is a real find real beauty guys like it like it a lot oh nice very nice very nice i already made my money back and then some that's gonna go in the keep pile maybe resell pile i don't know what's this thing true utility it's another little generic knifer we're just gonna set that over here on the side here's another little knifer sharpened to heck stainless steel I'm just gonna set it aside what's this thing Ugh. I don't know what this is. It's a solid knife. Really is a solid knife. Yeah, I'm running out of battery again, guys. Twice already I'm running out of battery. Let's just keep going with this thing. Look, it's another Leatherman Micra. Awesome. Look, it's another cheapy generic. I'm gonna leave that in there. Another Frosty, Frostwood. Another Victorinox SD. Another Victorinox waiter. Man, there's so many waiters in here, it's not even funny. Oh, these things need oil bad, guys. Oh, but I got so many of those now. Dude, look, here's a clip that broke off a knife, trash. And what's this? This looks like a Gerber, little Gerber. Oh, look at this, this is cute. This is adorable. Look at this little paraframe, adorable Gerber. I don't know what it's called. I don't have time to look at it right now. I'm gonna run out of battery. That's definitely gonna go in the sell pile or in the, yeah, in the resell pile. Look at this, this is another Gerber uh, mini suspension. Mini suspension, are you kidding me? Oh, geez, it's got the keychain and everything. Guys, this just needs cleaning, that's it. It's a mini suspension, definitely keeper. Definitely keeper, okay. Oh, broken knife. This is a trash. This is an Ozark Trail. We'll stay in here. Guys, it's a Gerber EG. Serrated blade. <laughs> nice. Very nice. This was a massive lot, guys. Again, keeper. Ugh, don't know what this belongs to. Probably a box cutter. Set that aside. Box cutter. Gordon, like the fish sticks. Ooh, check this big knife out. Is this a Victorinox? I don't know. That looks like a, I don't know, guys. Is it? Yes, it is. It's a Victorinox. It's a black Victorinox. It's got an, an engraving in there. MNC. It's a three layer. Is this a climber? I think it might be a climber. Oh, very nice, guys. Full size black Victorinox climber. Everything works. I'm telling you guys, I got my money back and then some with this bundle. I'm so pleased. Hey, look, here's that wood insert that fell out. I'm just gonna toss that. Guys, it's a Gerber shortcut. I mean, Okay, first of all, this isn't working, it's broken. It's literally broken, yeah. So I'm gonna have to throw this shortcut away. Yeah, this thing isn't working. Ugh. It's dangerous to use like this because you could really cut yourself. So I'm gonna throw this. We're gonna keep that little ring. I hate doing this, I really do. Um, but I'm gonna have to toss it, it's just not worth it. This is broken and because you can't really use it, you're, I'm gonna end up cutting myself with it, I know it. It's falling apart. All right, goodbye, my friend. Trash. Okay, there's this little jobby here. Whoa, this used to be an auto blade. You press the button and it comes out. Let's see, let's press it to put it in. I wonder. Ah, oh, it's seen better days. Maybe with some oil, we can get it back to its glory days. I don't know, cell pile. Okay, another box cutter, set that aside. Cheap uh, Pakistan knife. 
uh, another cheapy knife, another truck stop knife, army. What is this? This is supposed to be the, oh look, this was the glass cutter, but it's falling apart. Eh, let's set that aside. I don't know what to do with that. Okay, Military Times, this is a cheap magazine giveaway knife. Set that aside. Another Leatherman Micro with a keychain. Very nice. Okay. Another Victorinox. Look, Wounded Warrior Project. Ooh, that's a nice one, guys. Wounded Warrior Victorinox. I'm going to clean that bad boy up. Another one of these guys. Flying Falcon. Leatherman Micra, guys. Leatherman Micra. Okay. I've got, like, how many Leatherman Micras do I have? I have a ton of them. Here's another Victorini. Very nice. Um, no, I'm going to run out of battery soon. Just a generic box cutter. Let's see. Generic craftsman. This is a craftsman little mini guy. Definitely a keeper. I mean, if it says, if it says craftsman, you got to keep it. So put that aside. Maybe you put that in a knife lot. Look, it's the other piece of that money clip. This looks like a paraframe Gerber, but it's missing the thumb stud. And it doesn't lock in place. Ooh, it's broken from in there. This is a broken knife, guys. So, dangerous knife. We're going to toss this. Okay. This is an older box cutter. Uh, taped together. Uh, I'm going to toss this, my friends. It's another Husky. We're just going to pull these in now. Whoops. See that? Poke myself. That got stuck in my finger. I don't know if it's going to draw blood, but it might... Oof, look at this monstrosity. Truck stop, cheapy knife. See, that's what it is, the spring's broken. It's supposed to come up like a switchblade, but the mechanism is the most generic, ridiculous thing on the planet, and it's missing the screw. So this, my friends, is going to be garbage, but it's very unsafe garbage. I need to tape that because of that. Okay guys, so I hooked up an external charger to this thing in the hopes that I can get it to charge and I can keep going with the video. I need to tape that very dangerous knife that just... That wasn't a fart, guys, it's uh, duct tape. Thing is, you know, when you buy a cheap knife lot like this, a TSA confiscated knife lot, you gotta take the good with the bad and that's one of the risks. This is one of the risks, definitely. So you really gotta be mindful of that. So let's go ahead and let's take that stuff up and garbage. Okay. Okay, this is an interesting one. Oh, it's got some kind of a lever here. I don't know if that has anything to do with the knife. Looks like there used to be a thumb stud, now it's gone. Maybe this is supposed to be a grenade, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it in there. Box cutter, husky, little generic keychainer. Look, it's a Columbia. It's got a nice little little uh, langer that says Columbia. It's got a light that kind of works a little bit. And uh, it's a nice little keychain knife. I like it. Keeper. Okay. All right. It's an older 90s uh, Frosty looks like. Oh, it's tough to open. Oh, there it goes. It's decent condition. It says Big Cat 440 Steel. Somebody's gonna want that. Just gonna leave that there. Let's see, what's this? Generic Tornox, somebody will probably want that. This is another Maxim falling apart, it's trash. Ugh, this thing, this thing opens like this real fast. Yeah, it's missing screws so the handle's loose, but somebody might want it for garage sale. Only gonna sell that to a man or woman. No kids allowed. Whitehall, interesting. Victorinox, another one. Very sweet knife. This has a different feel. It's more boxy. I like it. It feels older. Okay. Oof. Heavy duty husky box cutter. Lots of box cutters in this lot. Generic. It's this frost plane falcon. Stainless steel construction. It's a usable knife. All right, what's this, another money clip? What's this, a Japan money clip? Hmm, where's it from? Uh, uh, it's 
famous China money clip. But it's a money clip, it's engravable. Look, it's an older knife. Ooh, it has a button. Nothing happens with the button. I think it used to be a light in there, yeah. It's interesting though. Hold on to that, somebody might want it. It's this, no brand, aluminum. Somebody might want it. Generic, another box cutter. Let's make sure to pull that out a bit. Oh look, it's one of these fancy engraving things. This keeps popping out though. Kiln Tech, you know. This is not working right. We're gonna call this trash, guys. Ugh, oh, it's one of these, the light burned out. This is, you remember these things, this is just trash. Okay, oof. Don't know what this was, nobody's gonna want this now. Maybe in the 90s, somebody loved this knife, showed love to it, not anymore. Oh, interesting lockback though. You press it here, this is the lockback design. I thought it was a liner lock. Huh, maybe that's worth cleaning up, I don't know. Okay. And we got this guy, truck stop knife. Ooh, it's supposed to be an auto. Platinum collections, I don't know. Stainless china, it needs to be tightened. Doesn't work that well, still kind of works. Sheffield, little multi-tool. This is like one of those light things. Is it gonna open? I don't know. Ugh. Hmm. It's got some locking, but I'm gonna have to. This isn't gonna work. I'm probably just gonna toss this thing. There it goes. Opens up pretty nice, so I guess it's a little lever to lock it in place, open and close it. I don't know. Somebody might want it. Hmm. It's a little oil. Okay, we'll keep it for now. What do we got here? Another one of these nail files. Uh, somebody might want that. Look, another Vicky. Another Vicky, guys. I can't get enough of these things, but this one won't close right for some weird reason. Huh, we're going to have to investigate that. This one is just really loose. Something's in the way of that. Yep. No, well, maybe not. I don't know why I'm going to close right. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but the back spring is broken in there. It has a broken back spring. What does that to a Victorinox knife? Anyway, I'm going to have to use this for parts. Definitely can use the tweezers and some other things. So, parts knife Victorinox. Always hate to see that. Okay, what else we got? Just a little generic Winchester. This is a Gerber. It's a nice little Bear Grylls Gerber. Yeah, somebody's going to want that. A little generic knife. Little generic knife. It's another Vicky. Nothing wrong with that one. Sheffield, I think. Yeah. Another one of these generics. <laughs> the light still works on that one. Can you believe it? All right, let's turn it off. I guess somebody wants that one. Another key knife. This is an SOG. Eh, it's an SOG key knife. Somebody's gonna want that. Okay. Humvee. Ooh, a Humvee knife. Somebody might want that. This is another generic Vicky. But it does have some semblance of quality. This might be a real Vicky. Mm. Yeah, I think this might be a real Victorinox. Can't really even tell, it's so terrible. Uh, no, it's a Wenger. This is a Wenger Delamont. It's a Wenger. Huh. Go figure. This is an old Wenger. All right. Broken uh, handle. Need to oil this bad boy up. See if we can salvage it. But it's an old Wenger. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, look. It's a Leatherman Micra. I think this is like the sixth, seventh one of those I found. Okay, what's this? A 
don't know what that symbol is. Interesting shape to the knife, though. Somebody will want that. Oh, look. No, no, it's a Winchester, actually. And it's not in great shape. Somebody might want it. Yeah. It's a little cutie pie knife there. Oh, look at this thing. So it's got a rainbow color to it. Sheffield. Yeah, I remember seeing these at Wally Mart. Okay. Pakistan, broken. All right. Let's investigate the last corner of this thing. Ram tool, Morris Marketing. Hmm. Sarge. Uh, Sarge makes some generic work knives. Work pretty good. This frog switch. This looks like a Maxim. Another Vicky, guys. Oh my gosh. I just scored with Victorinox on this. I really did. Just Victorinox as far as the eye can see. So what is this? A Sheffield? Jordan Cooper? I don't know. Okay. Is that another Victorinox I see? AAL Advertising Lutherans Association. This says Liberty Nationals. What is that? That is a Victorinox. And it's weird because it doesn't have the Victorinox symbol. It's advertising. But it's a Victorinox, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay. Here's something else. It also looks like a Victorinox. This is a GE Victorinox. GE. I think I've got like 50 Victorinox knives in there, guys. Look, guys, this is Nina's knife. Well, Nina paper. And it's a blue Victorinox, like I've been wanting. All right. I think from both of those blue ones, we can salvage one good one. What else we got? Last one. Is this anything special? Doesn't look like it. No. China knife. Okay. So, guys, thank you for coming on this journey with me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take all of these right here and this is basically my treasure that i got from all of this bundle um that's my treasure and all these other ones are going to be in knife lot bundles that i'm going to do now i'm going to throw in some good ones in there when i put these on ebay you know just to try and sell these but i'm going to sell them real cheap as well and this other stuff is just going to be trash um this stuff it's going to be trash so trash can trash can and trash can and trash can okay so all right guys let's put these back in safest way possible let's start those first lots of box cutters these are interesting there are some interesting knives in here, guys. There are. All right, let's see if we can dump this. Oh, it's not, we're not ready to dump it yet. We gotta put some more of these in here. Oof. I mean, dude, pretty darn cool. I just wish that the pencil lead, you know, wasn't the, or the pin lead wasn't leaking. But that's totally replaceable. Okay, guys. Whew. Seems like they're all even still mostly in there. You know what that means? That means that there wasn't a whole lot of trash in there after all, you know. I think I'm gonna put my keepers in here. And these are some that I'm gonna clean a little more. Yeah. Yeah, these are some I'm definitely gonna clean a little more and pay a little bit more attention to. 
I may make some of these into, add them into the knife lots, possibly keep the ones that I like. They're mostly Victorinox. All right, amigos, I'm very happy with this knife lot. I think I chose wisely. All right, guys, so this has been another episode of Knife Detector Channel. You guys take care. Stay tuned for my giveaways. They are coming up a most deceptive manner because I don't want to rattle all of those scammers, okay? So I'll be giving you details on that later. Until then, take care, amigos, and God bless.